Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well this week. Um, the first thing that I wanted to share with you is this mushroom illustration, which is the digital download for my patrons this month. Um, and as you will see in just a second, it's actually to make into mushroom bunting. I thought it would be fun to try and mix up my digital downloads for my patrons a bit. Um, I love doing crafty things and making things with my hands, so I was really excited about this. And of course, you will know how much I love drawing mushrooms, I think they're so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I've basically made a an A4 sheet that my patrons can download and print at home and then cut out and turn into a little autumnal garland. So I've obviously drawn it and printed it and here you can see I am just starting to cut out the mushrooms. Then I'm just punching a hole, two holes in each mushroom, one on either side. You can see here I'm using an old one hole punch but you can just use an ordinary hole punch or even just make a hole with a craft knife or a pair of scissors um, if that's all you have handy. Cutting out all the shapes and punching the holes probably looks a bit tedious but to be honest with you I really love this kind of busy creative work. Um, I really enjoy sticking a podcast on in the background or an old film and just kind of taking my mind off things for a little while. To string my mushrooms I am going to use a combination of some garden twine and some old string that I found in our workshop. Um, but you could use cotton thread or wool or yarn or anything you have lying around really. So this is how all of the bunting turned out. As you can see, I have three separate strands on the download sheet. Um, and I also tried mixing and matching them all, which turned out really great. Um, I'm really pleased with them. I really hope you love them. And if you're interested, you can find these on my Patreon page for all tiers this month. Next up, I want to show you my new toy. And oh my gosh, I have been having so much fun with this. Um, I got a mug press. This basically is a big heat press that will let me print my designs onto mugs um, using the sublimation print method, which basically uses heat to transfer designs. So currently I have six designs. Um, I don't own a sublimation printer yet, 
so I'm having to order in these actual sheets of my designs so I'm limited um, but I thought it would be nice to try out a smaller number of mugs to start with and see how I get on with them and see how much I like them and how much you guys like them yeah I'm so excited about these um, so now I'm just gonna make some mugs The designs that I have chosen to print on this first batch of mugs. Um, I'm so excited about this. As I mentioned, I think in the last video, broadening the products available in my shop is something that was a really big goal for this year for me. So yeah, it feels really fun and good to be moving in that direction. Um, my goal eventually is to buy my own sublimation printer um, and a flat heat press which means I'll be able to also do things like t-shirts and tote bags. Um, for now I am just ordering the designs from a printers who have a sublimation printer so I'm kind of limited by um, having to order it in and it takes about a week to arrive. But yeah. I, I am really pleased with them so far and I think my plan is to list these, see how well they sell probably over the Christmas period um, and then if they do okay I will probably reinvest some of the money from selling these mugs into 
a printer, which means I will be able to print just one of a design and list it. Um, it basically means I'll be able to have a much wider product range. So for the time being, I can only have these six. Um, yeah, I really hope you like them. Please let me know what you think. I am very new at this, so it took me so long to get the right um, temperature, pressure, time settings on my heat press just right. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with the way that they're turning out. And also the best part for me is that they're all dishwasher safe. So yeah, <laughs> um, each one comes wrapped in tissue paper and then in its own little box so perfect if you want to give any prezzies for Christmas this year.
A few weeks ago, I was talking about the contents of my Paper Gang box. Um, and I had a few questions about it, so I thought that I would show you this month's box, which arrived this week. Such a lovely... It's basically a stationary subscription, um, if you haven't heard of it. And as you will no doubt know by now, I'm a complete stationary nerd. And it is just the nicest thing through my letterbox every month. It's by a UK stationery brand called Odia, and I'm going to put the link in the description. But this month I got some stamps, some washi tape, um, a letter writing set, which is just, is lovely. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> with you I I miss it I just miss like being in a room with other creative people it's yeah. just different virtually somehow it's it's not the same yeah it's not I know. the same it's lovely it's, it's giving me so much yeah it's giving me a real sense of purpose which I think is just what I need at the moment honestly yeah yeah I, but other than that I'm I'm, I'm okay, I'm hanging on in there, you know, like I said, energy levels have been low, which makes everything a challenge, but I'm really busy with work, which is kind of keeping me going at the moment, to be honest. just added these to my shop as well um, custom named and illustrated Christmas baubles they're made of ceramic and um, yeah I'm gonna write your chosen name or word on them in matte red paint um, I think they're really cute and also I don't know about you but I feel like this Christmas I need to focus on the things that matter and will last, I guess. I think that's my main motivation for doing these. So yeah, if you are interested, I'm going to put the link in the description.
this vlog um before i go i just wanted to say a first of all a quick shout out to anyone that has watched my workshop that's available as part of adobe max um if you weren't aware i did a workshop and a live stream as part of the uh, free online conference that is adobe max this year um, i'm going to put the link in the description because you can watch my workshop on demand i've had an incredible response and i'm so grateful and i am getting to everyone's messages i promise i've just been inundated by wonderful wonderful people reaching out so thank you for that and secondly of course biggest thank you to my patrons who are constantly blowing me away with your support and your kindness so thank you for being you and thank you for being here and i will see you next week